point, all of you have probably heard the recent lore discoveries that the Titans may not exactly be the good guys, but our discovery of these books in Oldman is a lot more than people expected. As we just learned even more information, there are even more reports. Apparently, there seems to be some sort of dwarf-like race that lives in a place known as Kazalgar that could potentially become our ally and they may be located on the Dragon Isles. There is also a heretic titan forge race that rebelled and they're also somewhere and they're hiding from the titan keepers when you combine this with a 10.1 patch underground hints this starts to make a lot more sense for future content so let's unravel all this brand new information and examine who are these dwarves and what is even going on if you're looking for cheap games at amazing prices, check out this video sponsor, Gamevo. You can get everything from games to software, gift cards, and even get World of Warcraft game time and Dragonflight. You can get an even bigger discount with my code Doron, so make sure to click the link in the description below. As you may be aware at this point, we learned a ton of brand new lore about the Titans, the Titan Forge, and a bunch of related topics. If you're not familiar with this stuff, you can check out the previous few videos I made, but to put the long story super short, we learned that the Titans are kinda tyrannical, they have deleted a lot of the history of Azeroth and purposefully pushed their narrative. They are hiding that the first ones are the progenitors, and they're telling us the Titans are the main guys. Furthermore, it was Yogg-Saron that corrupted Galakron, the Titan keepers weren't exactly equals and Odin the prime designate was ordering them around for a while and they also more than likely forcefully corrupted the dragons and got them to align with the titans philosophies now that is the previous information but there is a brand new for some even more interesting information that we had just discovered as you may remember from the previous lore that we learned, the dwarves used to be Earthen, and Earthen used to be Titan Forge, which were essentially the minions of the Titan Keepers, and the Earthen in particular were usually in charge of the excavation type jobs, digging, building stuff, and more than likely they were the main Titan workforce. Well, long story short, Yogg-Saron corrupted the Forge, then built them with the Curse of Flesh, and that started spreading all across the Titan Forge, then all across Azeroth, with the corruption of the keepers as well this led to a pretty big civil war and conflict between them and just a bunch of titan forge escaped with tear and ended up in old man from these flesh earthen the dwarves would later emerge and they would build their own civilization around the same time period from mechanomes gnomes also became a thing now the thing is not all earthen went to old man and not all turned into dwarves this is not news whatsoever for anyone that has played the game for a while you have seen the actual stone and metal like earthen in northern without a doubt they have generally been our enemies as they had been corrupted but only in mind now these brand new books continue and add on to the storyline that we had known about for years at this point this is a report from a titan watcher which are kind of the next down the line with the titan keepers and it is called the observational report earth now i'm not going to read out the entire thing and quote everything but most importantly, I'm gonna summarize it. She talks about what happened to the Earthen and how the Curse of Flesh got to them and this entire process. She quite importantly notes that no Titan Forged group was hit uh, the same way and in the same manner as the Earthen, as the variance between the various Earthen groups is just massive. Some have remained almost entirely unchanged, while some have completely succumbed to the curse. She mentions that these completely corrupted by the curse are the group from Oldaman that later started calling themselves dwarves for some reason, and these are obviously the playable days that you guys can play with. Interestingly enough, she sees them as completely succumbing to the so-called curse. She also mentions how others were sort of half there, but there is apparently a really unique variant that is a mystery to them that they just can't seem to understand. Apparently, a notable Earthen contingent was sent to investigate a fissure detected in a sector. Now, as I said, these guys used to be the main workforce, so obviously they would send them to hotspots to fix stuff. Now, over the course of years, these guys started becoming incredibly similar to what she calls the self-styled dwarves. Now, you may be thinking, I mean, who cares if they succumb to the curse of flesh? Obviously, they are dwarf-like. If they turn into beings of flesh, it would really be nothing out of the ordinary. Most of the type of forge turn into the beings of flesh however they didn't say what this sector was and it is almost implied that it is somewhere close to the dragon isles the watcher specifically states that they cannot identify a single link between these two populations that they are split by a vast distance that they were never in contact with each other and their timelines are just completely off 
yet their language behaviors and demeanor is incredibly similar to that of the dwarves apparently they made this fissure that the titans call sector 938 into their home and these guys named it kaz algar which is obviously a dwarf like name i mean just Remember, Casmo Dan. To me, this is a pretty big hint that these guys are soon going to become incredibly relevant. And it is crazy to have two groups not related whatsoever develop an identical culture and language despite having no connection whatsoever. Furthermore, there is yet another writing from Oldman, and I'm not going to go into great detail with this one because it can really be a video on its own. But there is this so called wreckage analysis report. Apparently, there seems to be a really well fortified Titan Forge rebel group that the watch called heretics that are successfully repelling the attacks of their former masters and these masters are either trying to get them in line or to just completely destroy them the report pretty much states that it is pointless to just continue sending expeditions one after the other as they seem to be suicide attacks and it is just not worth it just leave these guys alone so this could also be related to this entire storyline as we might be discovering these guys as well soon now what all this info tells us well first off it is yet another continuation that the titans are not the good guys this has been a pretty evident theme with these past few books they are investigating their former servants there is a group that rebelled against the rule that they call heretics that they're actively trying to destroy furthermore they usually call them just a workforce and it seems like they see them as nothing more than minutes second this is a really big hint into the possible first one or one of the patches in Dragonflight. If you make it all the recent news, it has been heavily hinted that some sort of underground thing will be going in Dragonflight. I have an entire video on this leak, but to put it simply, there were literally encrypted files and a bunch of things hinting at 10.1 underground, and overall, there is just this name that is constantly mentioned underground. Now, Let's connect this. There is a fortified Titan rebel group somewhere, and there is an undiscovered dwarven culture that more than likely lives in a fissure, which could be completely underground. Then there is a patch that might be called underground and a bunch of similar content. I think you can connect the dots with this one. It is highly likely that we may be going to Kazalgar and that the dwarves are going to reunite with their long lost brethren. These guys could even become a possible allied race in the future, although I think it is too early to make any statement like this as they could potentially become enemies as well, maybe converted by the primalists or maybe even the old gods, who really knows at this point. There could even be a possible storyline where we have to free them from this apparent corruption. I'm guessing just of the dwarves have been an incredibly important part of the expedition in Old War, as well as the recent happenings with the World Soul and Magni, they are going to continue having a similar role in Dragonflight. I'm expecting to see Magni, this rebel titan forge group, these Kazagal dwarves, and all of them could fit exactly into this narrative of how the titans may not be the good guys and how we should be rebelling against them as well. They may give us their perspective. However, all hints right now are pointing at the fact that the underground is going to be really important in the dragon fight and it might just be the first patch of the expansion after we are done dealing with the initial primalist threat. Thank you for watching, check out how we might be going into Zeret or this by clicking on the screen and check out the Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time.